here is the Writer's Almanac for Wednesday. It's the 3rd of March, 2021. 1931 on this day, the Star-Spangled Banner became the official national anthem of the United States. Written by Francis Scott Key toward the end of the War of 1812, he put his poem to music, the song to Anacreon in Heaven, a bar room song. The Star Spangled Banner competed with My Country Tis of Thee and Hail Columbia for ceremonial uses. The U.S. Navy was the first to adopt the Star Spangled Banner officially in 1889. The White House recognized it in 1916, and in 1931, Congress made it official. Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, published on this day, 1802, Piano Sonata Number no. 14 in C-sharp minor, Opus 27, Number no. 2. The Moonlight was attached to to the work years after Beethoven died. Beethoven himself thought of it as a reflection on death sitting at the bedside of a very sick friend. And it's the birthday of the poet James Merrill, 1926, New York City, son of the co-founder of Merrill Lynch, author of many collections of poems, including The Changing Light at Sandover, 1982. Here's a poem for today from 1826, the poem Casa Bianca by Felicia Hemans. The boy stood on the burning deck whence all but he had fled. The flame that lit the battle's wreck shone round him o'er the dead. Yet beautiful and bright he stood as born to rule the storm. A creature of heroic blood, a proud, though childlike form. The flames rolled on, he would not go without his father's word. That father, faint in death below, his voice no longer heard. He called aloud, say, father, say, if yet my task is done. He knew not that the chieftain lay unconscious of his son. Speak, father, once again he cried, if I may yet be gone. And but the booming shots replied, and fast the flames rolled on. Upon his brow he felt their breath, and in his waving hair, and looked from that lone post of death in still yet brave despair, and shouted, but once more aloud, My father, must I stay? While o'er him fast, through sail and shroud, the wreathing fires made way. They wrapped the ship in splendor wild, they caught the flag on high and streamed above the gallant child like banners in the sky. There came a burst of thunder sound. The boy, oh, where was he? Ask of the winds that far around with fragments strewed the sea. With mast and helm and pennon fair, that well had borne their part, but the noblest thing which perished there was that young, faithful heart. A poem by Felicia Hemans, Casabianca. That's the Writer's Almanac for Wednesday, March the 3rd, funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.